Okay, beloved, beloved in Christ, beloved in the Lord, our beloved love and faith family, a family of believers, we greet you tonight in the most worthy name of all, that of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. We long to have had you back in another season of Bible study. That's what our Wednesday nights are for, a time to fellowship, to have relationship, to communicate one with another, to search the scriptures. Jesus encourage us, for in them we think we have eternal life. And so, welcome again, love and faith family at home, in the region, abroad, in the UK, in Canada, in the US of A, and all other parts of the world. We told you to search the scriptures. We told you recently that somebody from India came on, watched, stayed on, and made the request for the teachings to be brought to India. And so we are prayerfully seeking God's face as to his timing, but that we are mandated that this gospel, yes. Matthew 24, 14, of the kingdom of God must be preached as a witness, as a testimony to all nations. Then shall the end come. So we have a mandate to all the nations. That's why we are Love and Faith World Outreach Ministry. We are an outreach apostolically and prophetically to the world, we must touch one life at a time. We must each one teach one and each one reach one. So now that the requests are coming in, now that we humbly say on a Monday night, up to 300 persons are joining us and more. On a Wednesday night, the same, we are able to carry our consistent viewers and listeners uh, on prayer and in Bible study. We want to be specific. We want to be strategic, surgical, deliberate. Sometimes we'll take different forms. I will come on like a raging bull in a china pen, as if in a china shop as if I'm at war. And yes, I'm at war unapologetically, not with individual, not with flesh and blood, but there are certain things that must be addressed in this time, in this season, and in our global village and parish. Cannot be allowed, cannot be permitted, cannot be overlooked. Tonight is one of my most relaxed night. Not that we are not at warfare, but I just want to talk to God's people, put some definitions out there for the rest of our studies for the year. I'll be ready, we are a month behind mm -hmm. and a mm -hmm. month into our yearly agenda. Tonight we want to lay out the kingdom agenda for 2021, the kingdom of God, yes. But we're dealing with families, families, different aspects of the kingdom of God, but different aspects of the family. We want to pray around prayer, around the family, touch and different prayer points that relates to the family. But tonight we want to look at the family. When we say family, what really do we mean? 
the Christian family, the church family, the kingdom family. I want to start out with prayer, not forgetting to pray, and ask Sister Jennifer, please, to lead us in a brief prayer tonight. I noticed you said brief. Yes, and I meant, oh, I hallelujah. meant it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good night, everyone. It's a pleasure to be invited into your homes, into your work spaces. I thank God for all of you that have come on tonight. Let us pray. Father God, we honor you. We give you thanks that you have led us through the day. We thank you that your plans for us are great and mighty. We thank you that you have called us to be co-laborers in the field. Lord, we cannot effectively pray if we do not know your word. So let your word become now a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let the word be dissected. Let the word be digested. Let the word go deep in our hearts to bring change, lasting change, so that Christ be fully formed in us, so that we, we will become good, outstanding kingdom citizens, ambassadors for Christ, all oh, showing forth the glory of God in the earth. Thank you, Father. Be with us now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen. Beloved, to the Bible, the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, and one verse just for now. Ephesians 3 and verse 5 reads, Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Paul is speaking specially about a principle and a concept. It's revelatory. Yes. He's informing us that God respect family both in heaven, the heavenly realms, and family in the earth realm. That principle, that concept, is known in heaven and experienced on the earth. Let's pause at that for a while. As we talk about focusing on family, our first Wednesday night of teaching, we want to establish the following principle that God has a family. How do I know that? Because we refer oftentimes to God as our Father. Mm. Matthew 6, Luke 11. Jesus, in teaching his disciples how to pray effectively, taught them the first principle is to acknowledge our relationship with oh, God or Jesus. to God. Jews have not grown up with the concept that God is so closely related and associated with his people. Mm -hmm. May I say with his children. Yes. That you could think and get so close to God that you could say our or my mm -hmm. father, mm -hmm. my God, personal pronoun. Ownership. We're not belittling the divinity of God, but we can get to a relationship in God and with God that we don't only see him as a terrible God, a dreadful God, a fearsome God, an awesome God. He's all the above. A terrible God. Jesus. And the word father means source. Just think of the parable in Luke 16 of the prodigal and what God was trying to teach us in kingdom dynamics about the relationship between God 
and his children, the one who provides, the one who protects, the one who secures, the one who loves, the one who disciplines, the one who cares. Mm. In one part, Paul called himself like a nursing woman yes. to the children that are one to the kingdom. As a suckling woman, my God, who gives breasts. Mm -hmm. And then in the Old Testament, they called him the nestled one, mm -hmm. the breasted one. Breasted one. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We have to think of these approaches and relationship that we can develop with our God that is readily, readily available and accessible. So as we talk about family, we are drawing near. I'm not going by my notes. But it is important to establish what is the composite of family? What are we after this year? We are told that it takes two to make a family, a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve, indeed. And it's not woman and woman. It is not man and man. That's sticking to the natural use of the order of creation. That's how God made it. That was God's original intent and God's original order, and he has not changed it. A man and a woman is to procreate for procreation. A man and a woman is for relationship. A man and a woman is to communicate, to build relationship, and to excel and advance in relationship. So what does it take to build a family unit? And underline the word unit. It requires a man and a woman. It requires that they have relationship with each other. Lord. That they have intercourse. That there is conceptualization. That there is encounter. They encounter each other. That there is courtship. True fellowship. Strengthened by relationship. Enhanced through and by communication. Being separate and apart from each other, those things can never happen. But that family serves a purpose, not just for each other's pleasure, but for God's pleasure. pleasure. That fulfill God's design and God's desire. There are several ways in which a family can be a family. The first and foremost is blood relationship, covenantal yes. relationship, marital relationship. Then by law, legal precepts and principles. Then by adoption, you can be adopted into somebody's family. And we have all types and construct of family, but only the one that God, that God acknowledges and recognizes in Scripture at foundation and in the beginning. Relationship, family, true conception, through blood the family unit comes together and it is stated the family that prays together is a family that stays together communication in a family is prayer prayer in a family is communication the more they communicate one with another the more bonded and strengthened they they become so when we look at the types of family, the nuclear family. Oh, yeah. 
when we look at the family union through marriage, joined together by law, joined together by the Spirit of God, what is the composite of a family? Father, mother, son, daughter, or let's generalize, children. And maybe adopted children. But, but why family is important is for this reason. The family unit is considered to be the most cohesive unit in society. Yes. The most together. You can't get any closer bond and fulfillment. In that there is identity, relationship, love, communication, relationship building. But if you're going to deal with family this year, as we are going to deal with it, all levels of it, and we're just giving a broad outline of some of these subject matters and topics that we want to delve into, then you must first begin to define the roles of those individuals within the family structure or the family order. Here is how Jesus defines family. In Ephesians, he said, at the head of every family is God, Christ, the man, the woman, and the children. Look at the order again. Go through Ephesians 5, as we will, eventually. It didn't start with man. No, sir. He says, God, Christ, man, woman, and the children. In some of our communities, man is the head. God is nowhere in the picture. Christ is nowhere around. So it's the man, a woman, notice I say a woman, and a whole bunch of children. Those families were not started in God. There is no structure. So for family, family is a divine institution. It starts out by God's divinity. It's owned and operated by God. Then there is domestic authority or domestic order, divine, domestic, and it spreads out into societal order and then nation wide. It goes national. Yes. If we don't get the pattern right, if we don't get the order right, there is no proper functionality. And the problem with some of our families is that they exist, but they are not functioning. God is not at the helm or at the head. Man is. And in some cases, nobody is. Head. One woman can have 10 men. Hmm? Who is head of that family? Is God sovereign over that family? Mm. So a lot of our families this year, 2021, listen carefully, not meaning to be rude, crude, or to be bothersome. We have to look at our family structure. We have to bring our families together. We have to bring our homes under the sanctification of God. I don't mean just get married for the marriage, for the sake of marriage or marrying. All right, I'm going to free up the woman. I'm going to make sure married to go to our church. So he marries the woman thinking he's doing her a favor Jesus. or God a favor. God. And then put on the ring and a few words are spoken over them. 
and they have a legal license to carry out sexual activities. And they said, we don't fornicate anymore. And the word fornication means sexual activity out of the bonds of marriage. So he makes no commitment to God or she makes no commitment to God. He or she gets to go to church and they feel some level of liberality. Is that freedom? Is that God's order? Does God sanction that kind of relationship? That's one. Another one is what is called in a cultural context, common law, wife. There's no such thing as common in marriage context. What it means is a couple, a man and a woman that have been living together for a number of years and they have even started a family, produced children, creates confusion now when they are to submit to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because she may have one set of children with this man, another set with this man over here, another set with one over there, or five different sets. Truly, which of them should she marry to know? How do we bring all of those families together? And so we call a setting like that oh, where they get married, Jesus. blended marriage. Like you throw everybody in a blender and whatsoever they come out looking like. Mm. That's what they are. Right. Frederick, there's so much hurts, mm. so much wounds and yeah. bruise and yeah. dysfunctionality and pain. Mm. Children are torn. But you're not my father if he seeks to discipline or to correct. Or you're not my mother. And inside of that house that has one roof may have different construct of family. And it wounds the children, my God, from they were in the womb, not knowing who to obey, to respect, who can discipline, and I don't mean beating. And so a lot of our families in the, our Jamaican context and society are what? Dysfunctional, out of order. It affects the church now. They're starting to get saved. They were born out of that structure and construct. They know no better. They grew up seeing their adult parents live in this way and they adopt it. And you would hear some Jamaicans say, I don't want to bring forth my child outside of matrimony, outside of marriage. I want to end it here with me. I would like to marry a lady, or the lady said, I would like to marry a man who is my husband and father of my children. Their desire, they're, they're genuinely mm -hmm. wanting order. God's order to be established in their family and to break off from over their lives and children this dysfunctionality. But sometimes our pleasure, desire for pleasure, sometimes our disobedience or disrespect for God or lack of acknowledgement of God allows the family fiber to be so broken, we cause hurt in bringing our children. And our children don't know any better, they cause hurt. Many of us was like that. Until God walks into our own structure. This is not to put anybody down because we would be putting down almost 89% of our entire population. True. So there needs to be healing. Mm -hmm. There needs to be restoration. There needs to be deliverance. Too many open doors and sometimes three, four, five generations live under that bondage. Mm, Lord Jesus. Live under that captivity. Mm -hmm. Produce those proclivities. Mm -hmm. And we are wondering why are we not prospering? Why are we not more successful? Brethren, foundational problem, structural problem in our homes, in our families. 
Hmm? We kick God out. And with God being out, everything is out of order. Mm -hmm. And our churches are out of order. My God, there's a mess in the church. Mm -hmm. And the power of God is short-circuited, unlimited. Jesus. We should train up our children the way they are to grow, that when they grow up, See mommy and daddy together. Not sexual exploitation or sexual experimentation or for sexual pleasure. Too many mistakes are made sometime before the child even becomes 18 or 20. They have been about with 10 or 20 men. You're not a used tire. You're not picked up in a tire shop old and retired, needing to be refired. So the church has got to teach family, bring the family back to the altar, bring the families back to God. Too many open doors for demonic manifestation, demonic possession, demonic torment, demonic molestation. Oh God, generational spirits. Sometimes divorce travel in the family line. Separation travels in the family line. Some people are married over five times, over eight times, over nine times. People are going to take issues with me because we can't be merciful on some people. A man heads a nation, leads a nation, but he has been married five times. What spirit has he invoked over that nation? Divorce, separation, mm. immorality, licentiousness, oh, lasciviousness, mm. perverseness, immorality. And we take all those things for granted. Leaders bring spirits, good or bad to be invoked over nations. Jesus. Open up an entire society for that kind of pernicious behavior. Mm. So we have to break the prevalence over those societies. We're talking about healing the family. In the family construct, we have single persons, married persons, divorced persons. Mm. Jesus. Divorcee, mm. unwed, married but living apart, the family structure of our nation is wounded. Mm. God seeks to bring us back to himself. In the book of Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, he says, unless, he said in the last days, I'm going to come and smite the earth with a curse unless the hearts of the fathers are turned to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers. Jesus. Don't worry, we were there. It was embedded in our family structure. These are some of the things we inherit, like witchcraft, like obia. People take us out to bath. Divorce, separation. Jesus. Systemic. So don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Come to the blood. Come to Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Come to the cross. Do not deny of these privileges. Mm -hmm. But don't live shocked up life in concubinage style and think that the children are going to make different choices when they grow up. For as soon as they are mature enough to make their own choices, they run away from home or they start early by hiding looking for pleasure and sex in the wrong places. Don't value their virginity and their purity. Don't leave themselves holy, consecrated, and sanctified to God. We didn't know any better. At age 16, I was running all over the place thinking I'm the mighty conqueror. The little black book, your score, Jesus. not knowing what I was doing. And I want to say this tonight because 
sometimes we speak as men as if we are talking only about women and their values and virtues and their sanctity and value. But we devalue ourselves when immorality or morality erodes and breeds immorality. Jesus. Though we may even be married now, we have to let our children know we made mistakes in life and we have to go back in the bloodline and correct some things that went wild over time. We have to teach how we have ungodly sex ties. Soul ties. Soul ties by the amount of things that we enter into that were never repented of. And we leave certain relationships, but certain relationships never left us. We still have trinkets and love letters and jewelry and things that binds us to the past or memory pattern that holds us in guilt. And we have to break those gateway spirits and gateway entrances to demonic powers to yes. come and operate and manifest in our lives. These are serious issues. And when we say the church needs healing, we're talking healing from an abundance mm. of stuff. And we get a lot of people married and we think this is the end of it, but no sooner they get married, all different types of problems break out. We pass on generationally. Jesus. Sinful practices to our children and the Practices we pass on multiply and deepen itself in our children because we do not insist, not in my house. Um, I might have made such mistake, but I don't want you to walk the same path and do it gingerly, do it with respect, do it with humility that you're not condemning them because they're asking, so mommy, why did you have us or have me when you did to justify They'll play your pass on you yes. and on me. <laughs> Where are you going? And you're kin your teeth. <laughs> and they come back in. They have gained your trust, but you haven't gained their trust. You said you were going to be. Those things don't work. <laughs> My wife says, calm down. <laughs> I am calming down. All right. <laughs> but some of our criminal problems. Mm, yes. Some of our legal challenges, mm. some of our moral problems, some of our ethical problems. Jesus. Mm. Starts generationally, early in our lives. And so, beloved, we have to ask ourselves what is God's order for mm. family? What was God's original intent? We know. Started in Genesis, here's it. And God made man and woman after his image and likeness made he them. And he blessed them. Why so early in creation? What was God after? Purity, the blessing of the righteous seed. What was God after? Divine family, divine marriage, the blessing of the fruit of the womb. What was God after? Multiply, replenish the earth, be fruitful, take dominion, dominion mm -hmm. subdue mm -hmm. the earth. You know the power of generational blessing Jesus. Covenantal blessing. It has long life. It has wealth. It has health. It has peace. It has prosperity. It has longevity. My God. In one covenant, the devil is after the seed. Yes. The devil wants to curse our generation and its inheritance and hold them captive in bondage. But we're saying, no, throughout this year, we're going to set the captives free. 
Yes, Lord. We're going to take back family order, family blessing, family inheritance, family seed, and bless our generations. Seed, seed, your seed, seed, seed after you. Oh, my God. Mm, Jesus. Adam race, the human race. Mm. But Abraham's seed. Two different things. Adam's race, the human race. Only one race. But Abraham's seed. The seed of the righteous. The seed of the blessed. We're going to break those curses. We're going to cut down. Yes, Lord. Those generational intrusion and speak light and life over our family. You're going to either love me or hate me for this. We are bringing out our children, yours and mine, to the house of God. Yes, Lord. That under one house, one order. One order. One law. One God. Mm. One Christ. Yes. One faith. Yes. One hope. One baptism. Oh, Lord. My God, I see it already. Yes. I see droves of families, families coming into Father's house. Father's house. Oh, Jesus. With joy. Oh, liberty, my God. I love freedom, to see that Jesus. Prior, praise. Oh, my God. Worship. Yes. We're going to see drug curses. Broken. Yes. Yes. Homosexual curses. Broken. Yes. All manner of curses. Yes. Prostitution curses. Broken. My God. My God. Curses broken. My God. Curses broken. Yes. Mm. Mm. We're going to close doors so yes. that the curse causeless yes. Yes. cannot yes. go. Yes. Yes. People yes. that yes. Even, didn't even know that. My God. They were operating under a curse. Mm. Drive out diseases. Oh God. And sicknesses. Yes. Withered bodies. My God. Bodies that are becoming old My and God. wrinkled, hey. cut off from their purpose and mm. their destiny. Yes, Jesus. You think that the oh, only way to cast Jesus. out a demon mm. is by foaming fraught through the mouth. Oh, no, no, no. But you are realizing that is only one way. You can sit in your seat tonight, Sunday morning, Monday, mm. Wednesday, as the word is being dispensed. Yes. Under the power, unction, and Glory anointing of God. the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And deliverance is They're coming to you place. from all oh types of satanic captivity. Satanic when the word is ministered in power, yes. in anointing, in grace. Jesus. When we deal with the issue of raising up the family altars. Mm. Curses from the father's side is broken. Curses from the mother's side. Some of yes. us have curses from both mother and father. Both. Stronghold from both mother and father. Mm. Things that they practice that we didn't even know or knew about. Suddenly God is just bringing to our mm. remembrance. Yes. And that we are developing a vision for each family. A purpose for each family. And bringing each family's destiny to the forefront. And we are dealing with the family unit. Mm -mm. As we retrieve, redeem, recover the yes. role of the family and God's original purpose. What is the role of the man? We're not going into that tonight. To govern, to discipline, to rule, to be priest, to be leader, to be teacher, to be protector, to be cultivator. Jesus. What's the role of the woman? You'd be amazing to know. To be lover. Disciplinarian. To understand. And I keep saying it from last week. How to love their husbands. What would please my husband? What would satisfy him? What would pleasure him? How can I make him more comfortable? Vice versa. How do I make her feel protected? provided yes. for secure what is the first need of every woman apart from God mm. to feel secure what is the first need of the man Jesus. to be respected and to be honored Lord Neville I Lord Abraham 
Oh my word. It's not a title. It's not a name. <laughs> it's not a privilege. <laughs> and, and, and don't laugh. Listen to the Rasta man. She is my queen. Queen. Oh, Queen <laughs> Jennifer. And she loves that every bone in her body stands still and attention. Yes. I salute thee. Yes. And you hear the laugh too? Queen. Yes. Special laughter for hmm? that one. But when he says, you're to call me Lord. Lord. Never. There's some measure of hesitation. No, 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 no. She is my queen. She should Jesus find every bone and fiber in her body to call me Lord. Lord. Never. Even if it is word of mouth till it becomes reality. Lord, remember that. Yes. Yes. Would you stop disturbing my administration? <laughs> it seems like some things is coming out tonight in the open. When I used to look back at when my father used to come home, all the children are gathered around because there would have been enough in that dinner bowl and dish that each of us could get some of daddy's. And when we, even when our tummies were filled and couldn't hold anymore, yes. his rice, if it was rice, oh. was in one dish. Yes. The food provision, ground provision was in one dish. Mm -hmm. The meat kind was in another. The vegetable was in another. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Don't go on to the cock Listen soup. to me we now. Do not talk about the cock soup tonight. <laughs> That's how the man used to be revered and honored and treated. Oh my God. In the context of his family. <laughs> mm. Now, today, when the dinner has been put on the table, one plate flew over there. So <laughs> the food dash out over there, or it's left in the pot. <laughs> they did not upon the soap. Help yourself. Help yourself. <laughs> People, it's not Sister Jennifer. Those things okay. would not have been tolerated. <laughs> In the olden days, just the other day, oh my God. the children saw that respect and how daddy was treated and how the man oh was treated in the home. So they grew up not just respecting him and fearing him, but he was a king and treated in kingly ways. Hmm? So he was a provider, a protector, chief security officer. All the children had duties and responsibilities and chores. True. Oh, they saw honor and respect mm. and dignity. How she was treated, even if they quarreled, you wouldn't know. Nowadays, they take counsel with the mother and beat the man. <laughs> Drive him out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <I'm laughs> calm down. <laughs> Truth hurts. Truth burns. It should leave you questioning, do you look in the perfect law of liberty <laughs> and not soon after forget? Oh, Nobody troubled me today. <laughs> Had a very relaxing day. Mm. But we're going to address family. Yes, yes. From a kingdom position <laughs> in the church of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to model family to the world. Mm -hmm. Less murders, less rape, mm. less crime, less incest. Less domestic violence. Oh, Jesus. Masha, tala, ba, 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 ba. More harmony. Greater levels of civility. Mm. So that when we come together to pray, and listen to these scriptures now. Peter says, let not your prayers be hindered. Oh, Jesus. By how you treat her. Listen to Peter again. Treat her with all wisdom. Mm. My God. It not take nothing less than wisdom to deal with these women of today. Mm. So it was in Peter. Treat them with? Mm, wisdom. Wisdom. You need wisdom. Mm. If not, fight broke out. Two, and your prayers become mm. hindered. By what? If you violate the family order. So you want to be strong intercessors? You want to be priests of your family? You want to be good worshipers? Jesus. Good ministers? How do you treat family? At home, how the husband treats the, the wife and how the wife is treated by the husband. These are very basic very, things. Very, very important. All right, so we have domestic order, mm. the home. We have spiritual order, God's order. We have societal order, strong community, strong society. And we have national order. How 
we view families in all of these areas, rather than having what we call broken families, wounded families, bruised families, dysfunctional families. And this is not my teaching. It is my notes. <laughs> it is just basic introduction. introduction. <laughs> we haven't rolled out. Oh, Jesus. Because when we do, and we must, the altars at the church must be filled. Not mm. for sinners now, mm -hmm. for Christians, Christians coming to Christ. Coming back. And obeying the words of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, beloved, uh, let me give you one more scripture. Acts 17. Acts chapter 17. We gave you at the beginning Ephesians 3, 15. But Jesus. listen to what Acts of the Apostle, mm. chapter 17 and verse 26 has to say. And hath made of one blood all nations of men yes. for to dwell on all the earth all the face of the earth has determined their times before appointed yes. and the bounds of their habitation. How did God did it? He made all families, all nation of what? One blood. One blood. If you're black, you have the same blood. My the song God. that we normally sing, one blood. One blood. One blood. Psalms out of scripture. If you're white, the blood is the same. Mm. If you're black, if you're Chinese, if you're yellow, if you're white, all blood, Jesus. all families to glorify God yes, and that Lord. God would be glorified in and through the families. We're going to pray. Yes. But I want you to acknowledge some beautiful people that has always been with us and we welcome you. Yes. Um, I'm going to ask um, our co-host, um, Sister Harris, to yes, Jen. call out those who are on Zoom. I'm not able to see all, um, oh. but you, you would see them better than I can. All right, no problem. So we have Lady Dallas, Lady Olga Gray, Lady Nadia Copen, uh, Deaconess Monica Slacks, Nazarene Keys, Cheryl Headley, Pastor Lolit Garrick, Sandra Smith, Sister Tracy Gillespie, Margaret Scott, Alicia, Deacon Ricardo Knight, Sister Suzanne Johnson, uh, Brother Collins Agu, Juliet Ambrosley, and Nira Abba. Okay, so on Facebook, uh, we have Elder Abiola Henry, Debbie King, Clover Stewart, Dawn Williams, Lurleen Gray, Sean Bartley, Janet Kenyon, Marlene Matthews, Anne Marie Cameron, um, Elder Jones, Elder Bailey, Peter Gay Kelly, um, Alea Wilson, and Gina Bailey, Elder Bailey, Marlene McCullough, Pastor Claudia Howard, uh, Christine Jones, Elder Daniels, Vivian Pusey, Debbie Bless, Cassandra Forrester, Shama Dove, Lorraine Rome, Margaret Atkinson, Elder Hyde, Wendy Palomino Hire, Georgia Matthews, Judith Sardar, Sophia Forbes, Jermaine Henry, Evangelist Nellie Keldo, uh, Minister Maxine Riley. God bless you. Thank you so much for logging on. Thank you so much. We mentioned some names some nights because you are so valuable. Yes. Precious and special. Price above ruby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have come on initially, stayed with us, brought others. Yes. One person, 16 persons come on their uh, yes. site with them. I was speaking to someone and I said, she said, I sent it to my relatives mm -hmm. abroad. Tears came from my eyes. Mm -hmm. She said, I just heard about it. I have been looking at different platforms, getting messages from the website. 
we don't even charge for what's on the website. We want to know if it's going out there, it's getting to where it needs to go into the homes and hearts and lives yes. to bring transformation personally, individually, collectively around the world. We don't put a price on God's word. If you want to bless us with an offering, we thank you. We're not bumptious. We're building a building. It will take uh, resources and finances. But what we want to know is that the word of God yes. is reaching the mark. Now having presented an outline, an overall of what we want to deal with uh, over this year, we want to pray for yes. the family structure. Yes, Lord. We are burdened. We don't want one of our children to be lost. Ah, we want to reach out to our Esau's, our Jacob, mm -hmm. our Isaac's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because whether you believe it or not, your prayers are on them. Your tears are on them. Oh, not for Jesus. bad, but for good. My God. We want their families mm. and uh, their generations to come in. We want to pass on the baton. Yes. yes. And we know that there's a war over families, a war over marriages, a war over husbands and wives and children. Because the enemy don't want them to come into their purpose and to fulfill their destiny. Can we pray right now? We want all of our pastors in the house and our leaders and our elders to take different night and bring different perspectives on the family. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Father in heaven. Yes. Ignite our hearts right now. Yes, Lord. With liquid fire. Arrest us. Arrest our yes, nation. Jesus. Arrest the church. Yes. We bring the church altar before My you. God. God, the nation is wounded. Mm. The nation has been emerging yes. and continues to emerge. Jesus. Lord, it's bleeding profusely. Mm. The nation is stained with blood, mm. has been unatoned for for years. But we have Jesus. found a secret back to God mm. is to bring our families united yes. in prayer, yes. united in worship, oh, united in the word. Mm. Lord God, we're not going to let the devil, Jesus. Satan, the old dragon, the serpent, Jesus. drag them away through drugs, drag them away through sexual immorality, mm. or drag them away through all different types of vices, exes, vexes, through witchcraft, God. drive them Some away through divination and witchcraft of their minds. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Yes. We rebuke you. Yes. We discharge liquid fire against yes. you. We consecrate our young boys. Yes. We consecrate our young girls. Oh, Jesus. They will not become involved in different types of things before their time and the age of maturity. Consecrate Jesus. their walk. Yes. Lord, we reach out to them. We cut off the drug mm. or cross over in their bloodline. Jesus. Some of those behavior, they have developed it from their fathers, their mothers, Jesus. their bloodline, their grandmothers and grandfathers. Oh, generation of the stream of the bloodline. And Father, they feel Jesus. bound and held in captivity activity and in bondage and all forms of proclivity Jesus, but 2021 oh, is a God, year uh, of the family oh, we're yeah, going to ask see. husbands and fathers mothers and uh, yes. wives lay hands lay on hands each her. of them oh, and prophesy Jesus. over them their oh destinies. god oh, like joseph god. his children like jacob yes. his children yes, yes. their destinies Oh, prophesy God, over them you. like Isaac and Abraham. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. See to yes. it that they marry godly wives and godly husbands Jesus. and no uncircumcised. Jesus. Oh, Philistine Jesus. will pull them aside no, and they please. will not disrespect the disobey and disrespect the wishes of their fathers mm. and mothers. My God, My we God. take the children That's back. We basis. call them back to accountability. Yes, Lord. My God, we place our families at the be, 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 altar. Be, 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 we wash them in the blood of mm. Jesus Christ. We speak life over mm. them. We bring them back from the brink. We bring them back from necromancy, divination, mm. from 
whoring, prostitution, Jesus, harlotry. Jesus, Jesus. In the name of Jesus oh, Christ, God. we bring we them back to their Lord. Nazarite vow yes. and we wash them yes. in the word of God, in the blood of Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. we prophesy over them mm. and break every diabolic spell, mm. exes and vexes, every spells curse. and incantation and curses. We turn oh, them shakaya. back in the name every of Jesus. We wash our home. We wash our altars, every negative, evil, yes. diabolic Sakatapaye. pronunciation over my their God, lives. As a matter of fact, we lift up Jesus. marriage, the marriage union. Yes. You foul devil and oh, clean spirit Jesus. who would like to hold our marriages in oh, captivity, in bondage, in divorce, be, 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 in separation, be, 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 be. that we would lose hey, desires be, 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 for our husbands be, 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 be. and for our wives. My that God, all the desire God. for the strange woman of Jesus. Proverbs 5 would Jesus. fill our intent. Job says, I would not look upon oh, another woman with, that is not my wife with any feeling oh, or desires Jesus. or passion. Put those away. Run it out of our system. Jesus. Oh, God, raise up godly men in your house, yes, godly women in your house, mm. godly mothers to teach the young Younger ones, wife. godly fathers to teach the young boys yes. and to mentor them and to mm. shepherd them and to bring them through their bar misper. Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, let there be a turnaround in our church house. Jesus. We plead with you. Oh, Jesus. We ask you and we compel them by our prayers to turn mm. to God and yes. to turn to holiness yes. and to righteousness. And to righteousness. I want to ask Jennifer to pray a motherly oh, prayer Jesus. over our children and the children mm. of the righteous. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for godly seeds. Lord, we thank you that you have given our children to us my God, uh, to teach them first your word uh, so that they, my God, in their generation would teach your laws, your commandments, uh, your precepts uh, to those uh, that come after them. Lord, we speak uh, uh, to our seed uh, and we declare over them righteousness, mm. joy uh, and peace. Uh, of the kingdom of God. My God, they shall not become uh, terrorists. They will not become the rebellious generation. They will not become the generation mm. of vipers, but they will be the godly mm. seed that is released from the arrow, Mekatal, released oh, as arrows yeah. uh, out of uh, the bow of the mighty men among us. Uh, they shall be as polished uh, palaces. Mm. They shall be as tender plants uh, by oh, the God. side of our houses. They shall be taught uh, oh, God. of you, O oh God. And great, uh, great shall be their peace. Mm -hmm. uh, my God, my God, they will not be afraid. None will make them afraid. None. They will be excellent academically and spiritually. They will stand tall among their pairs. The word of God will be on their lips. Righteousness will be their desire. It will be written as a code upon their heart. Oh God. When other children are going astray, oh God. they will not be enticed oh by them. They will not put their hands oh in lot with the unrighteous oh God. Oh, to sin against you, oh God. But Father, tonight we send the word that straightens we them. Word. We, we send, send your, your word that puts a backbone into them. We send your word that reaches them even in their very sleep. Oh, God. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, my God, you have called upon them in their season to oh go God. even higher. My God, to stand on our shoulders and go higher. The advancement in science yes. and technology, oh my God, means that they will do things quicker. But God, let them not do things quicker. Mm -hmm. 
but fail to honor you because Mighty you have God. signs in your hand. It's not signs, man of God. Mighty it's God. God first. Ah, the kingdom of God first. Every other law exists under you. Uh, my God, my God, your words are spirit uh, hey. and they are life. Hey, Koko, All Karababa, things that exist me. by you. Without you, there would be nothing made which mm. was made my god help mm. our children to honor you as head of all things my god and that you're leading us and them into conformity to your will yes. so my god they will not come up with the notion that advancement uh means that they will forget you to succeed in life that they have to forget you and your precepts my god is a lie from the pit of hell and we said it Back in the name of Jesus. Jesus. He said it back. 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 Their success back. depends on you. You're He's the friendly. one who opened doors for them. You're the one who led them. Hey, my God, who conce oh, conceptualized them. In my Jesus God, name. even before they were in the womb, you put their paths together and knit them in the womb. Mm. And you took them out of the womb. My God, my God. When Satan and try to kill some of them even at birth yes, yes lord you were the one that pulled them out of the birthing canal and grew them up all these many years they cannot fail but to give you praise to fail. lord let when the the, the, the the congregation meets that they're the ones my god who are dancing and singing and praising and shouting for they will know that they're the children of the righteous yes lord and hey. Father, we release the children in the womb, yet yes. unborn. Yes. You line spirit who is still in the Annas and the Elizabeths Jesus. and the Marys that they will not give birth to. My God. You who have sought to lock up the wombs Jesus. so that the righteous seed would not come forth and we release them. We release them. You who are unmarried, who think your time has come to my an Lord, end Lord. and you will never find your spouse, the my Lord Jesus. says, look no more. Occupy Pursue your me. Seek me, Jesus. and I will do in thee, with yes. thee, and for thee. Yes, Those Lord. women who are sitting, living chaste, and conduct oh, lifestyle, Jesus. waiting for their husbands you to manifest. Reward them, oh God. God reward hey, them. You men that are sitting confused, not knowing where to look my and who be, to be, look, be, feeling be, ashamed be, of who be, you are. I Jesus. pray God cause the right persons to meet each other yes, at the Lord. altar. Yes, cause Lord. the right person to meet each other in mm. the houses of our oh, God, and eyes, you would Lord. see this year, this hey, year, this Shabaya. year, this year, this yes, year, yes, a Lord. miracle. Yes, Lord. Strong miracle in the area of God. family, in yes. the area of marriage. They would my not God. take up any uncircumcised Philistine Jesus. for husband or for wife. Lord, no Jezebel would knock at their doors my with baby painted baby. faces and long nails. I pray in Jesus' baby. name, Lord, come Jesus. to the rest of your children. Yes. I further pray that the children that are born with gifts and hey, talents and Jesus. ability, singing ability, acting Jesus. ability, drama, sing, uh, ability in music yes. and instruments. Come, oh come God, that the they would come forth in the house of God. Their gifts would not plunder. Their gifts my would not Lord, be submerged. But I pray none of them would Jesus. become vagabond like my Cain God. was in the earth. Mm. But Lord God, they would wait upon thee. For they that mm. wait upon thee, oh God, will mount up with wings Jesus like eagles. eagles. They will run, run mount and, up and yes. run and not be weary, they walk and not walk faint. And my God, oh, let my it God. be this year. The yes. year of victory. The year yes, of visitation. Yes. The year of habitation. Oh, Jesus. The year of plenty, the year yeah. of completion, oh, the year of excelling, yes. advancing, pursuing, yes. Yes. and overtaking in their gifts and mm. talents and abilities. Bless their families. Let yes, them not Lord. be weary. Oh, oh God. God. And become impatient in waiting. In waiting. My God. But satisfied. Oh, God. Mr. With your desires. Monday, we, so that we, we ring the wedding bells in 2021 in the name of Jesus. In supernatural happenings yes, yes. in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Supernatural weddings yes, Holy Ghost. in the Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy in, Ghost. The in the name of Jesus. Supernatural. In the name of Jesus. 
Lord, yes, Papa. In the if name, it is one o'clock, you are going to wake name. up and hear our in voices. Supernatural weddings. Yes. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Lord, we will stand beside our grandchildren. Yes, Lord. Proudly hold them up in our hands. Yes, Jesus. We will lay our hands on their head and yes. bless them yes. and call their names in the realm of the spirit. Jesus. We will stand to take care of them. Yes. We will stand to rejoice over our my sons God, and God. our daughters that they have come back to the Lord and brought up in the way of righteousness, mm -hmm. wisdom, yes. equity, yes. justice, and peace. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name Heal of our Jesus. families. Heal our children yes. and bless them with righteousness yes. and we seal these things now mm. in the name of the holy spirit yes and the triune god my god amen amen and amen mm. my god where did the time go yes we must continue in prayer yes mm? because these things must be held up mm. before the throne of grace yes lord in the throne room of god and in mm. the courts of heaven and be legislated mm. by the righteous judge yes Oh, thank you, Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ, we mm. thank you. Let us pronounce the benediction. Reluctantly, I'm, I'm leaving you. <laughs> we have run out of time, but we've not run out of words, and we will continue to pray in the Lord's time. God bless you richly. Hold up your hands for the benediction. The Lord God of heaven, bless you. The Lord God of heaven, keep you, resuscitate you, rejuvenate you, realign you, empower you set you free. The Lord calls his face to shine upon you, to be gracious unto you. Lift up the light of his countenance upon you now, and the Lord grant you his shalom. Goodness and mercy run you down. Your windows are sealed. Your doors are sealed. The red hot thick blood of Jesus surrounds you. No evil come nigh your dwelling place, because God has placed destiny, purpose, vision, mission, and passion before you now mm. and forevermore. Be sealed with the zeal of the Lord. We love you. We appreciate you. We thank God yes. for you. Thank you. And we Jesus. see you soon again. God bless you. God bless you. God bless love you. Love always. Love you always. Thank you. Amen.